everybody, it's Jody here, and welcome to part two of my ginormous, huge, epic Sephora haul. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this. It's a hot mess. There's so much stuff. So, those of you who are back, you guys saw number one where I announced the winners. This is number two with none of the clue items. This is everything else that I bought. So, let's just get into it because this box is shoved to the brim. As I told you guys in the last video, a lot of these things have already been taken out of their boxes because I filmed this whole thing as one giant video, tried to post it earlier today, and it would not, like there was no, it was not happening. So, I had to film it in two parts. Okay, so number one I got, I got two bags of these. These are the Sh Shiseido, I can never say that. <laughs> I sound like a drunk. Shiseido face cottons. These are some of my all-time favorite face cottons. I use them every day for my eye makeup, and I will also use them anywhere that feels tender or a little bit irritated, which I get a lot with my allergies. Those are a must, must, must. Here is a point perk that I got um, when I bought my mini lipstick. They give me the option of the point perk for this little bag. It's tote bag. It is just so cute. It's got to, oh my gosh. I actually really, really like it. I think it's super adorable. I'm gonna pass it on probably to my niece because she just, she loves bags. I mean, the girl's got backpacks and the whole nine yards. She'll love it. I'm gonna warn you guys, there are a couple items in here that I bought after the VIB Rouge sale, but you'll understand why in a second. I got doo -doo 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 -doo, the Too Faced Sweet Beach Palette. <laughs> that was obnoxious. I'm gonna flip it upside down so I don't shine you with the mirror. Here's what this bad boy looks like. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. When they said it smells like sweet, uh, like peach rings, I would say when it's closed and I smell it from a distance, it smells like peach rings. But when I open it up, I haven't quite put my finger on it, but it's not quite peaches. You guys need to know the story for this. So when this launched, I ate into the hype, like, big time. Um, when this first launched, I was one of those people on the Too Faced website, like, right away. Right away. It's time. Let's go. The page would not reload for me. Uh, by the time it finally did load up to where I could select it, it said sold out. Same thing happened to me... When Sephora launched it on their website, I was on there, I stayed up super late, it was midnight, I was on there, kept not reloading, said not available, not available, not available, and then when it finally popped up, it said out of stock. So, I got up at the break of dawn for their release, drove the hour to the closest Sephora to me, sat outside their doors, was there when they opened them up, walked in, and between me and two other girls, we'd almost cleaned them out. So... I got it. I'm happy I have it. Uh, the colors are amazing. The smell, eh, not quite. Let me know if you guys would like a review on that. I don't know. There's so many out there, I'm not sure. I just wanted it because I had to have it. Because I have an addiction and... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this haul, by all means, automatically, yes, for sure, Help me renew my VIB Rouge status. This was the gift for renewing. It's a bitty, teeny, bitty little Nars blush. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's so freakishly small. It's almost laughable. This is the color. It's very, very pretty. Um, and it is called Gululu. Glu no. Gululu. I don't know. If you know how to say it, somebody please correct me because that's wrong. It's weird got a strange name it's very very cute but it's very microscopically tiny like this is about the size of a Ritz cracker <laughs> oh not a Ritz it's square so it's got to be a Trisket right <laughs> oh wow it's far too late to be filming um okay so the next thing that I got is my lips have been in kind of rough shape lately so like a lot of people out there with a the weather change I decided to pick up one of these little guys it's the for Sephora Shea lip mask from what I understand, it's actually like a paper mask, just like the ones that you put over your entire face from Sephora, but it goes on your lips. So I thought, if it could possibly help, let's throw it in my bag. The other thing that I got to try and help out is this Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy with Smoothing Berry. I don't know, <laughs> Flower something rather. It's kind of neat. It has a little pump. 
it's like a serum kind of thing that goes on your lips as long as you've got um, it says really clean lips clean finger and apply it you can apply it underneath lipstick you can apply it at night there is another product that they recommend to go with this I just have the one but so far I, it's night and day like I can totally see the difference um, here is another thing that I got I got the Hula Hula Zero Tan Lines. Hula 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 Hula. <laughs> I love this skirt on the bottom. Benefit does the best packaging. Like it's always just so fun. So what this is is this is a liquid body bronzer. So you unscrew the whole top. That's where it comes out. I haven't opened it up, obviously. And then this spot right at the top pops off, and it is a application sponge. Which actually, when you feel it feels like almost it feels a lot like a beauty blender but maybe just slightly more dense so the idea of this is for a one-time use sort of bronzer to do your decollete you could do your arms you could go ham and do your whole body I think part of the reason that this is getting mixed reviews is I think people sort of assume that it's almost like a like a leave-on tan like it's going to last longer that's not what this is this is makeup for your body when you wash your face when you put water on your face at the end of the day, you've got makeup on your face, it comes off. The same thing is going to happen with this. This is body makeup. It is not a tanning serum. So I'm really excited to use it. Uh, there's enough product in here for me to practice a little bit before I actually go out in public where people can see me with it on. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I should probably practice. Uh, here's another thing that I got. I got the Makeup Forever Step 1, but I got it in the green, the color correcting. Uh... I really love these Makeup Forever Step 1s. Uh, I have the Etude House Baby Toy Mint Based Primer that I've really been enjoying, so I decided to give this one a try and maybe see which one I like better. This one's a little easier for me to get my hands on and more readily available, so I decided to have a fight to the death between the green primers and see how it goes. <laughs> the next thing I got, I got a brush. I got sucked in and I got the Benefit Bronzer Brush. I liked this. Um, when I first saw it online, because it's so shiny gold in the green, I thought it would be very, very kind of cheapy. It's not. Like, this is a pretty substantial feeling brush. It is so freaking crazy soft. I like the shape of it. It's got a really nice sort of point to maybe get in the hollows of the cheeks. I haven't tried it yet, but I have very high hopes. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Oh my God, there's so many goodies. Oh, this thing is really cool. <clears throat> like you can see what I'm digging in for. I got one of these. This is the color, Cover FX Perfecting Pencil. So I got this in neutral, what color did I get? N light, so neutral light. I got this after watching Tati's, one of Tati's recent videos. This looks like a really interesting concealer stick. I have nothing else that small or tiny to do like maybe my brows or around my lips when I apply like say a dark color. Sorry. My neck is really itchy today. It's allergy season so everything itches. Everything, it's just, clothes kind of bother me right now. So if I'm scratching and kind of twitchy and sound stuffed up, I apologize. It's just the time of the year. Well, I have really, really high hopes up for this one. It looked interesting and fun and neat and all that jazz. All right, so I got one of the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palettes, and I chose mine in the color Sage. I picked Sage just because Sage was the one that I didn't really have anything else in my collection quite those colors. Like, I don't have a matte green like this. This color right here, oh, wow. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Uh, a lot of people don't like the container, the little case. I like it. It kind of reminds me of a little coffin. It's sturdy. It's strong. It's heavy duty. I feel like I could chuck this in my bag and go traveling or backpacking and not have a problem with it. I think it's a winner. I think it's cute as pie. I have to restrain myself because I kind of want all of them now. I haven't tried it actually on my eyes, but swatching it, it swatches like a dream. I mean, look at that. Holy, holy cow. Like, look at that cream. That's once across. That was a whoosh, whoosh, and a whoosh, like, oh my goodness, these are just, I'll swatch that little, that kind of grayy kind of color there beside that greeny gray. Oh, look at that. It comes out very olive gray. So pretty, so smooth, so pigmented. Kat Von D, in my opinion, 
the girl can do no wrong. Everything I own from her, I, I love. I have not owned anything from her line that I didn't actually put on like my top 10 list. It's just amazeballs. Okay, so the next thing I got is this guy here. This is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss, enamored lip gloss in Sugar Sugar. This is actually what I have on my lips today over top of um, Raquel from NARS Audacious Lipstick. Jaclyn Hill talks about these all the time. I think, I can't remember if this is the color that she likes or if it was another one. I just really like this color. Um, I don't know how to describe it in any other way than it is like the only gloss I have ever used that lasts a long time with absolutely zero stickiness, no tackiness. It's the perfect amount of gleam and shine and oh, just juicy goodness. It's not over the top. It's not too understated. It's not overly sparkly. This is crazy awesome, awesome, awesome. I am gonna buy more of these. I am an absolute love. Besides this packaging, makes me feel like a movie star every time I put it on. I love it so, like you guys have no idea, I love it so much and it smells good. Kind of has a, has like kind of a fresh, not mint mint, but minty smell. And what else did I get? Oh, I got one of these. I picked up one of the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks and I got mine in Queen Bee, I believe this is called. Yes, Queen Bee. This is such cool packaging. I love it. But this, on the outside, is actually part of the packaging. It's not a sticker. This color is such a Jody color, but I have a hundred lips that look like this, but look at that. Isn't that just pretty? It's like purpley, mauvey, nudie. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> so the next thing I got... One of the Marc Jacobs is to Marc Filters. I got mine in number 40 Mirage Filter. The mirror is like the entire top of this thing. It is so epically huge. As you guys can see, I have swatched this before. This, this oh, is so soft. Uh, the colors, I haven't tried it on my face, but this sort of creamy, really yellow color, my skin tone loves things that color. Absolutely loves things that color. So I have high hopes for this one. I'm just gonna swatch it like that. They blend in, if you can see the two of them together, so the brown is on closer to lipstick here and then the yellow. They like blend out instantly on my hand. The colors seem to match perfectly. I'm so beyond excited about that. Next thing I got, I got one of these, I got the small size because I haven't tried it. I got the Sephora Solid Brush Cleanser. If you guys haven't seen this before, it comes with a little little scrubby pad, which I'm a little excited about. A lot of people say it's a lot better than the Beauty Blender Cleanser, so I figured let's give it a whirl. Uh, one of the next things that I got, I got the NARS Laguna Tear Bronzer. <sighs> Look at the packaging. Looks like wood. Isn't that cool? I don't know. It's a little masculine and I kind of love, kind of sort of love that about it. So it comes with one of the little, little, what are they called? Ida, Ida Kabuki brush. And this is what it looks like. Try not to flash it with the mirror. So beautiful. It is your classic NARS Laguna bronzer, but it is infused with this smell. And the girl at the store is like, no, you need to smell it. No, you need to smell it. <laughs> she was right. It was the smell that got me. Now, I've had Laguna Bronzer in the past. Uh, I ran out of it. Like, I literally killed it off. Uh, the reason I didn't replace it wasn't out of a love for it. It was just I had so many new, fun bronzers to try. This is what it looks like down there. It is just such a perfect color. This one has such a beautiful sort of golden glow to it. I don't think you can go wrong with Laguna, Laguna Bronzer. You can put it on very, very light. If you're a lighter tone person, you can pack it on a little bit more. If you're deeper toned, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a glorious bronzer. It is sort of a cult classic for a reason. So, I amused my bouche. <laughs> No, I got two of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. The first one I got here, I'll open this one up, I got Souffle. This one already has a little bit of a following. It's a beautiful light pink. On me, on its own, it does make me look a little washed out. 
I think it'll either, I think it will look really nice when I'm very tan or sort of over top to lighten up or create some ombre effects with some of my other lipsticks. The formula is beautiful. And the other one I got here is Meringue. I got Meringue because when I originally got color matched for uh, the Perfect Nude while I was in Sephora, this was number two. It gave me two choices. It gave me NARS Chelsea Girls and it gave, NARS Chelsea Girls. It gave me NARS Raquel and then it gave me the Mousse Bouche lipstick in Meringue. These smell absolutely divine. They smell good enough to lick or eat. They're glorious and beautiful and amazing. And I think that they're probably gonna become one of my top sort of lipsticks. Like I really like it. So we are on to the last thing. Now, I paid way too much for this. I'm just gonna warn you guys ahead of time, like this was ridiculous. Um yeah, yeah. It was a little bit of a splurge. Uh this sold out actually. It is a Tom Ford product. This sold out actually right before the VIB sale, before the VIB Rouge sale, actually the day before. I was online when it launched. I totally, totally missed out on it. I was in tears when hunting. It was sold out basically everywhere. And then I found finally somewhere that would ship it to Canada and that was Saks Fifth Avenue. So it comes in the same little white sort of Ta-da! Pouch as the bronzer does. It's the same beautiful, glorious, amazing white and gold packaging. But I got the dual blushes. <laughs> I spent way too much on this. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, this was a complete, complete splurge. I, when I originally filmed my video, I was so sad yesterday that it didn't come in. I've been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks for this sucker and it finally came in today. I swatched it, of course, immediately as I unbox it. I have not worn it on my cheeks, but I have to tell you guys that the pigment on this, the formula is somewhat kind of almost gel-like. I don't know how to really describe it without sounding like a crazy person. There's the two colors there. They just blend into my skin tone perfectly. They're beautiful. The packaging is beautiful and I couldn't ask for anything better to splurge my money on. I am so beyond excited. I think out of everything I got that this this little sucker right here is probably going to be my prize winner. She's going back in her little, well he, he's going back in his beautiful little felt bag. Anyways guys, that's it. We have finally hit the end of my epic, epic Sephora haul. If there's anything here you guys would like a review on, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If there's anything that you guys bought that was similar, let me know how it's working out for you. If you liked it, if you didn't, if it's a toss. I love to hear what other people think of things. If you guys enjoyed my giveaway, enjoyed this sort of crazy two-port haul video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment, share, all that fun stuff. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will see you all next time.